Hey, I'm Brooke Allen. I'm a comic book artist and toy maker, and I like to make animated GIFs. Um, I'd like to show you my process and give you a couple tips. So let's dive in. All right, let's start with grabbing your file and putting it into Photoshop. So we're going to open Photoshop with our art that we want to make move just a little bit over and over again, which is what a GIF is. Uh, you should have multiple pieces of art that change a little bit. For instance, on separate layers, we have the, the elements that we want to move from frame to frame. So we have the rocks, and I've named them rocks, rocks two and three. Naming your layers is super important, especially for um, making a GIF because you have to cycle through the layers, so you don't want to pick the wrong one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and name our layer. And you just double click, and this little character's name is Aesop, so we'll shorten it to Ace for one. Uh, Ace one. Name that one as Ace two. So this is just basic upkeep. So the objective here today is to make this move just a little bit. We have our character Aesop. He's sitting on a floating uh, island of grass and dirt. And I think I just want his hair to move. And I want these rocks to sort of float up and down a little bit. So I think I can achieve that in three frames. Just a basic movement. And it'll cycle over and over again. So he's just in a constant state of being wind blown, I guess. <laughs> so the first order of business, once we've, we've named all of our layers, we've got everything organized, and we can see that on the side here of each layer, there's a little eyeball, and that'll hide a layer. So if you click the eyeball, you can see that layer, and if you click it again and it's gone, then it's invisible. That's a big part of this whole process. So we want the first layer visible. And just to show you, I have these three layers and they all change a little bit. So we have our first layer visible. The next thing to do is to animate. So we're gonna go to the timeline. It's this little icon right here. You can also go up to window and then click the timeline. But if you didn't wanna do that, you can click it on here on the side, the little, tie, little uh, movie reel. I've already set up three frames, but this is what it would look like before. So you usually start with one frame. And set it to two seconds. The quicker you want the action or the frame to be visible, the faster the motion will be. Uh, and so I don't want it to be too fast, so we're going to click it to 0.2 instead of 0.1. And we'll make three new frames. So we always start with this one. And I think that's where I want everything to begin. Everything looks good. But what we would do is we would go to our, our various layers and make sure that they're in the right place. If we click the V button on your keyboard, that's a hotkey. It brings up this little arrow. And you can sort of move stuff around. Stage it wherever you want it to be. That looks good. Just go through each one. That's this layer. Rocks one. Move them around. That looks fine. So we'll move on to layer two or frame two. And sort of flip back between frame one and frame two because I realize that uh, there's a little bit of variation there where they move. Um, that's because on this frame, the different layers, they're not synced up. So I want to make sure before I begin to move the layers back to the same position that they're in in the first frame. So we'll go to the first frame, click on this one to see the second. Rocks three, that's this guy. It moves a little bit. I actually kind of like that, so I might leave it. <laughs> so I, I just want little movements between the rocks. I just want them to float and sort of hover a little bit. Uh, I don't want a big movement. If you just to show you what that would look like, click between those, you see how drastic the rock's movement is. I don't want that, so I'm just going to move this layer a little closer. 
and you can see just a little little baby movement and then we're going to go make sure we're on frame two and then select ASOP two. So there should be some movement in between these two frames on ASOP as well. Little sheep character. All right, so we're going to move on to the third frame. I'm going to click the eye on the third frame for the ASOP down here in your layers. So make the third ASOP 3D visible. And we're going to click the rocks and make sure they're where we want them to be. So rocks one, we're going to move a little farther down like this. Maybe over a little more like that. Just getting nitpicky. <laughs> All right, and so if you want to cycle through just to sort of see how it plays, you hit the space bar and that'll move it. And uh, if you wanted to, you could play it just once. No, it just, and then it's over. Or three times, and that's all right. But what we want is forever. So select forever, and ASOP will move forever. All right, so I think I, I, I've watched a couple times. I like the movement of the rocks, and I think it's ready to export. So we're gonna go to File, Save for web. You just say save. And we'll name it ASOP in the wind. Hit save. All right, so hopefully that worked. And just to check to be sure, we're going to grab ASOP in the wind and drop them into your web browser. And hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll move whenever it loads. There he is. There's your GIF. Animated and everything. There you go. Now you know how to animate a GIF. See ya.